Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what is your person hiding from you, okay? So what secrets do they keep from you, or perhaps what information are they holding back from you that um, you deserve to know? It is going to be a general reading, so please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Bear with me. That's better. Okay, so looks like there's a few things going on here. Your person is crippled by anxiety, okay? There is um, a very anxious, a very nervous kind of energy here with the Eight of Swords. There is something that this person has been wanting to tell you, okay? But it feels like they're not maliciously keeping information from you. They're not maliciously keeping secrets from you. They can't bring themselves to share this with you, okay? Because it feels like what they have to say to you it's either really hard for them to uh, reveal this to you. It's either really difficult for them emotionally and internally to have this conversation with you. I'm also seeing that whatever it is that they want to share with you, they believe it, there's going to be consequences here. So perhaps you might not look at this person the same way. You might see them in a very different light. You might find yourself a lot less attracted to this individual. Um, there may be something here that I don't think it's going to repel you, but I think this is how your person is thinking. They're scared that so, like you, you just you'll see them completely differently. You might not be as attracted to them anymore. You might not think the same of them anymore. Okay, so they're scared that essentially is going to push you away. They're also scared that if they don't open up and tell you this, it's going to once you find out about it, it's also going to um, be very uncomfortable for the both of you. It's something to do with it's something to do with their past here. Okay, they may have not necessarily have grown up in a very healthy, stable emotional environment. They may have had a very difficult, challenging, tumultuous childhood or upbringing. I feel like there's a lack of stability in your person's energy. Okay, um, they may have suffered some aban like they may have abandonment. Um, issues okay they may have even commitment issues as a result of something that has stemmed from either their childhood days or perhaps even from their previous relationships this person is trying to do things very differently with you because they're scared of repeating past mistakes they're also scared of allowing the past because I'm seeing that there is some demons here that are sort of nipping at their ankles okay and it's some inner inner demons that they're trying to really battle with but it's something that has a very strong hold on them so much so that they feel immobilized they feel like they're powerless they feel like um this has got a very strong hold and a power over them it could be addiction issues guys but again you know it stems from some sort of something some sort of void that they were trying to fill um or some sort of um some sort of memory they were trying to drown. It feels like there's some sort of issues with your person, okay? And try as they might, they've tried to they've tried in the past to untangle some of the knots on these issues. And I think, you know, they want to be loved and they want to love. Um, and they want they want something that I feel like they've craved all their lives, which is stability, a happy home, security. So they want to make sure that they're able to give that to you. But they're also scared that there are some things here. They're so scared there are some things here that are preventing them from even moving forward with you. Or sharing certain things about themselves in the past. It may have to do with their previous relationships. Okay, It may have to do with their, you know, their upbringing as we discussed earlier. But it's something that I feel like has them... 
it's holding this person back from their truest potential. It is. And it's some sort of, you know, call it whatever you want. A fee, an anxiety, an insecurity, um, you know, demons. There's something here that is holding your person back from really displaying their full potential, their true potential. Um, and it also holds this person back from engaging in a healthy relationship. I think because they haven't been treated fairly in the past, um, they want to make sure that they treat people who cro they cross paths with, like, um, you know, romantic connections, friends, any connecting energies. They want to make sure that they treat them fairly, okay? Um, watch out for signs of defensiveness or even conflict in your person. Because um, I think this is something that they've experienced a lot in their life. Um... And I think it will give you, and I think it's something that they're still uncomfortable with. Your person also has a, a very difficult decision or a very difficult choice that they're facing right now. Uh, it's something personal. It could relate to career. It could relate to uh, a personal decision, decision, sorry, a choice they're making about their lives. But you know what? They're, they're not telling you what's really going on with them emotionally and internally. This is someone who I see that they keep their cards very close to their chest. This is someone who they've been through some things. And you know what? This person is scared to share certain things with you because they don't want to be a burden. They don't want you to see them differently. They have been hurt. They have been wronged in the past. How they feel about the situation and your connection with this person. Um, there's, I'm seeing that there's some sort of... I feel like there's some sort of scars or some sort of reminder, some sort of physical reminders uh, that this person has from the past. I don't know whether it could be tattoos or whether it's scars. Um, there's something here that I'm seeing. It's encouraging this person to keep moving forward to do better to be better there's some sort of physical reminder that i see stays with this person and this physical reminder <clears throat> is essentially a reminder to restore balance and order in their life so you know where there was instability before in the past they now want stability where there was chaos they now want order so it's some sort of restoration this person most certainly wants to work, wants things to work out between the two of you. However, I feel like there's there's a lot of insecurities and there's a lot of. I think it's self doubt for your person. You know, they may feel they're not good enough for you, or they may feel that you know they have they come with a lot of emotional baggage and a lot of you know, history here. It feels like your person is really struggling, maybe even with self-identity. Um, and there's, I'm also seeing that they're really struggling with abandonment issues. So even though this person really wants things to go well with you, even though this person really wants to, you know, they want to enter into a relationship, into a long-term commitment with you, they're scared because, see, they haven't had a lot of stability in their life. The people that they've loved um, and the people that were always closest to them, unfortunately, have you know ended up hurting them, betraying them, or abandoning them. I think they're very cautious because they are trying to protect themselves and protect their energy. They don't want to get hurt. But something about this tells me that they might just risk it for you, even if it means getting hurt um, or end, you know end up with heartbreak or heartache in the process. Your person is scared, but I feel like right now they're using the intuition, okay? The water that pulls at the feet here represents their the intuition. So right now they're really trying to go off 
their intuition, how they feel about you and how they feel about the situation. And essentially, that's what's guiding them. I do think eventually they will open up um, and you might even get insight into more and more into this person, like the things that they say or the things that they do or don't say and don't do. You know, you'll start putting together the pieces. It'll all start making sense. Again, it's not because this person is hiding something from you. I don't. It feels less of a secret and more of they're not ready to share with this with you. They're not comfortable to share this with you or with anyone for that matter. But I think the more you get to know each other, I see that you know this person eventually will, bit by bit, will share parts of themselves they may have not revealed to a lot of other people. Okay, these are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.